The biggest one is the tradition of putting money in the eagle about this time in the semester. The original eagle was named Louise. Louise sat in front, as I said, sat in front of Founders Hall. Not the Founders Hall you and I know. Founders Hall burned in 53, 54. When Founders burned, Louise then moved over to Miller Hall, which is now a vacant lot uh, if you're facing Founders to the left of Founders. Miller Hall housed the library on the top floor. The tradition developed that students would drop coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, whatever, in Louise, in her beak. The, there was a, a gap in the beak, just a, a flaw in the casting. So you drop money in there for good luck on an exam. And the theory, of course, is that since you're coming out of the library, one would assume you were studying for the exam, and the money might have boosted your study habits. That's probably the biggest tradition. Louise disappeared in the 70s, something like that. She, she came back. She was found out of town, south of town, out towards uh, Mifflin. About a week later then, in the office of somebody in the history department at that time, he came in and he found a bag of money on his desk that had been in Louise and it was returned to him. What happened to that money, we have no idea. When, when Miller Hall was taken down, Louise was moved. She's in storage now. The money was taken out of her and it's on the second floor of Convo. There's a, a display case as you're walking down the hall and the money's just piled up in there. Mostly pennies, probably 25 bucks. That's the biggest tradition.